going on just back with another video here so uh today i just wanted to uh show this video where uh tulsi gabbard it looks like yesterday actually earlier today she did a interview with fox's jesse waters and they're talking about uh joe biden dropping out and potentially being replaced by kamala harris and uh let's just ha uh, take a listen and have a look and see what she has to say and then we'll talk about it after Sorry, got to start that over again here. That they're touting uh, President Joe Biden making this decision that's doing what's best for the country. Uh, you know, it, it, it's just hypocrisy given how many of them, as you mentioned, have been saying for days that he should step down as the Democratic nominee. I, I think I think the thing here to focus on, Jesse, is all of these different uh, calls and questions come up about what happens next, uh, whether Joe Biden is, uh, you know, actually resigns or he doesn't, we just got to remember, nothing's going to change. If Kamala Harris is the nominee or some other Democrat is the nominee, nothing else is going to change. Joe Biden has been the figurehead for people behind the scenes who have been calling the shot. Well, that's the thing, right? There's been a lot of rumors for quite a while now suggesting that, you know, Joe Biden's not really even in charge anyway, right? Like it's Barack Obama or whoever behind the scenes pulling the strings, uh, whether it's, you know, elitists and respect, uh, respected people in the Democratic Party who are essentially just telling them what to do. They're writing scripts for him. So it's not really him anyway. He's just kind of like their puppet master. And I think they're right when they say that. The same will happen if Kamala Harris is elected president or other Democrats. The, the fact is you've got Any of them. power elite in Washington coming from the military industrial complex, national security state, working with their friends in the big industrial propaganda media, they all just want to stay in power. So they don't really actually care at all about Joe Biden, no, how, no matter how many crocodile tears they shed. They're going to look for the best horse that they think will help them win and back that person. Absolutely. Kamala is probably easier to manipulate than Joe Biden. At least Joe Biden knew who was who in Washington. Kamala is spring chicken. She's brand new in this scene. She doesn't know anybody. She doesn't know where it's coming from. You certainly did, though. Remember on that debate? You tangled with Kamala. Let's watch this. So, so I actually made a video about this. Let me go back here a little bit. Uh, but I did make a video about this kind of uh, detailing the highlights of this uh, debate. This is back in... Yeah, this is July 31st of 2019. So, yeah, I mean, Tulsi Gabbard just took Kamala Harris to school. I did make a video about that probably about six, seven months ago. But let's just recap it here because it's pretty funny. Her record as a prosecutor and that she'll be a prosecutor president. But I'm deeply concerned about this record. There are too many examples to cite, but she put over 1,500 people in jail for marijuana violations and laughed about it when she was asked if she ever smoked marijuana. She blocked evidence. She blocked evidence that would have freed an innocent man from death row until the courts forced her to do so. She kept people in prison beyond their sentences to use them as cheap labor for the state of California. And she fought to keep cash bail system in place that impacts poor people in the worst kind of way. And see, that's the thing, and she's absolutely right. Kamala Harris always just placates to this, oh, I'm for the people, and these wonderful people of America, you know, they need to be unburdened by once, by once what burdened them, or whatever the hell she says. She's just a cackling idiot who doesn't make any points or make any sense. And then you have Tulsi Gabbard, who, you know, who, again, the Democrats had as a potential uh, presidential uh, nominee. They pushed her out of the party, too. Because she says things like that and exposes the corruption like that. And you're not supposed to do that. Not in the Democratic Party. So Kamala's record's going to be front and center. I don't know if she knows what's coming. You know, the first thing that I think of when it comes to Kamala Harris is once again trying to stand on her record is our border. She was appointed the border czar and, and it's almost like she felt as long as she said on television, hey, the border is secure, that somehow it would magically be secure. That wasn't the case. We've had an unprecedented number of people crossing our borders illegally at the Biden-Harris administration's open border policy essentially uh, uh, aided and abetted these cartels and their multi-billion dollar human trafficking industry, making our country far less safe. Uh, the list goes on and on about Kamala Harris's failures, even as vice president over these last 
three and a half years, both here at home and her failed attempts at foreign policy that have made our country less safe and pushed us closer to the brink of war. So if she is the Democrats nominee, she's got a lot to be held to account for. Yeah. And, and, you know, again, well said, right? I mean, she's just another establishment pro corporation, pro Wall Street, pharmaceutical companies and big banks are going to be donating to her. She's a warmonger. She'll cave to the military industrial complex. Like it's just it's just another it's a female version of Joe Biden. They're just all Democratic elite establishment politicians who do not care about the people. They just care about their donors and filling their pockets filled with money or keeping their pockets filled with money. And then in return, the donors, oh, you made us so rich. Here's a couple million bucks for your campaign, because apparently it takes two to three hundred million to run for president in the United States, which is obviously that should set, that should set off huge red flags in your head right there. Why does it cost so much to get a job that pays five hundred grand a year? Two to three hundred million you need to raise to make to get a job where it pays five, a half a million dollars a year. That makes no sense. It's all a bunch of corrupt horseshit, and Kamala Harris is no better, and she's no worse. She's just the same as Joe Biden. And that's where Donald Trump has a big advantage, in my opinion, because he's not a typical Republican at all. But anyway, guys, that's going to be it for this video. I appreciate you watching. Please let me know what you think in the comment section, and I will be back shortly with another video. Also, please don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps grow this channel. Take care, and I'll see you later.